not able to win. Shimla, once the summer capital of the British Empire, sits pretty amidst the verdant pine forests in the lap of the Himalayas. Now, it has become a hub of professional mountain bikers from India and across the globe. For the 13th edition of the Hero MTB Himalaya, 92 riders gathered here to put themselves through 10 days of possibly one of the world's toughest mountain bike rallies. Riders with varying level of experience would face the toughest eight stages this race has ever seen. Traversing 650 odd kilometers with a massive vertical elevation of 16,000 meters, challenging the limits on an unforgettable adventure through the unexplored interiors of Himachal, all the way to Taramshala. But first, the prologue. For the first time in the history of the race, a timed urban stage was introduced, right in the middle of Shimla and even the rain couldn't dampen the spirits of the curious locals who gathered at the ridge. The prologue was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it very much. The crowd, the people. Quick little urban assault kind of ride. You know, the steps could be kind of sketchy if it was wet, but uh, that was a lot of fun real quick. riders zipped and powered through the one-kilometer loop and trailing the locals. Witnessing world-class mountain bikers transform this city into a playground turned out to be a truly unique experience, especially for the youth. Inspiring stuff. कौन सी भी हालत में एमटीबी हिमालय पार करने का है जिसमें दम होता है वही कर पाता है ये मेरा 12 साल है वो 12 साल में मैं बहुत कुछ सीख लिया है और एमटीबी तो मेरा लाइफ ही बन गए After a long spell of rain the sun showing up for the start of the race proved to be more ominous than good fortune gently reminding all the participants that they were in for the long haul and it's all downhill from here. Well, not all downhill, as this short but intense stage was a good mix of steep narrow climbs through Deodar Forest and some nasty enduro sections that pushed our riders to test their metal against the scorching heat of the sun. That would set the tone for the days to come. But as demanding as the race would become with each stage ahead, the riders would surely be rewarded by the grand vistas offered to them throughout. As the stage winds down, the riders clock in after a spirited start to the race, ending their day at the picturesque camp set up in the rolling meadows of Gada Kufur. Every time I talk about this race, and I talk a lot about this race to everybody, the camping is very special. What I'm expecting this year is the same. Hard stages, awesome camping. Oh, the camping's been great. Tent accommodations have been really nice. Uh, the nights have been pretty cool, so sleeping really well. Everyone's like just here for biking is like, biking specific, not just camping. You get to meet a lot of riders and you get to learn a lot. It's just a really laid back and positive place to be, right? It's kind of like a Boy Scout camp for, for adults. 
Waking up after a strenuous first day and much required recovery, our riders geared up to take on the mighty Sutlej River. Again, a test of endurance. This 90 km stage moved through the dense forest of Narkanda to the low-lying Sutlej Valley to expose grasslands and mountain sides, which will lead to extreme temperature variations for the riders. The famous apple orchards of the region, riddled with natural trails for the riders to navigate through, demanded a superhuman level of commitment and technique that only years of practice and experience can attain. Not surprisingly, the pros were ahead by miles. I'm Gurman Reen and I've been a part of Hero Action Team for the past four years now. And this is my fifth MTV Himalaya this year. The rider competition, it's gone to another level now. We're riding with a lot of different levels of uh, riders. बहुत बड़े-बड़े नाम हैं जो इसे हमारे इवेंट में आए हुए हैं, लेजेंड्स हैं ये। तो इनके साथ राइड करना बहुत ही अमेजिंग था। बट रेस तो हर साल की तरह टफ ही होती जा रही है। सिर्फ मुझे लगता है कि थोड़ी सी ट्रेनिंग की जरूरत है और गाइडेंस की जरूरत है। ये पॉसिबल हो सकता है कि कभी हिमालय Exhaustion from the blazing sun towards the final climbs of the stage took its toll on many riders who could not finish. And the ones who did, splendidly, were just getting their groove on with some neck-to-neck -neck competition. As they settled into the camp for the night, all the riders had one thing on their minds, the climb ahead. For the Queen's stage is really a conquest against yourself. Pumped up after an early start and long steep climb, the riders find themselves in single track heaven. A breather from the climbing heavy itinerary for the day. A breather that will still leave our riders out of breath. Here, the riders face a prolonged endurance loop through thick pine forest and slippery terrain, where they could show off their trail biking prowess. My name is Jochen Böhringer. I'm from Germany and I'm racing the MTB Hero Himalaya for the first time this year. But yeah, to be honest, the trails here are incredibly different. So you have a lot of yeah, very technical sections. So sometimes there are big drops, very narrow passages. I think it's a good combination of uh, big climbs, some technical single track. The single tracks were a very good quality, very rough terrain, very interesting, very challenging, very physical. On with the climbing again. Undoubtedly, this was the climber stage, with close to over 3,000 meters in elevation gain on some pretty tough roads summiting at the famous Jalori Pass. All the climbing meant the descent to camp was not going to be forgiving either. Downhill, hard downhill, silently, and it's very technical. And then when it's open, it's open, and when it's closed, it's closed. At the end of three grueling days of racing and competition building up, it was time for a day of rest and rejuvenation. But first, a word from our partners. The premier cycle manufacturer and brand in the country. When you create an event like MTB Himalayas, what you're also doing is telling the youth of the country that there are far more greater opportunities for you to explore in sport. Hero is very proud to be associated with this challenge, MTB challenge. We've done it for the last few years. Every year the scale is doubling up, I would say. It's about creating a belief 
what this sport does and what this sport can do for millions of the youth in the country. They go through villages all around, uh, well, the same course that we're doing and stopping the schools in the small villages and they are trying to help and to spread the message of how important is the, the environment in the Himalayas. So we've been sitting all around the kids and Ashi spoke about the riding and the environment. I love it here, it's so fantastic. Everybody is nice. It feels like home, it's one big family. Another day, another stage. There's our forest, streams and green valleys would be the order of the day. Having spent a day at Gargashani, the riders would race these 80 odd kilometers with renewed enthusiasm, going over three majestic passes, dust and gravel flying. An extremely fast downhill dirt road from the highest point of the stage led the riders to a steep 7km climb through dense forests and out into the valleys wild again. By this point in the race, the riders had seen it all. From the tough weather conditions to treacherous terrain, each rider who could finish these stages would have good fortune ahead, but not without the support of from the showrunners of the race. The one thing to look forward to every day, feeding station and the volunteers, it's fantastic, the enthusiasm and the energy these kids have. Everything is there at feed station. Feed stations are very specifically designed depending on every day's route. When you get to the station, they've got water in their hands, they're ready to feed you, they're ready to prep you up. I mean, I don't think this race would be possible without the volunteers. As the roads got narrower and the hills got greener, the athletes moved deeper into the unexplored. Half of the race in their bags, what more could this adventure possibly have in store? Find out in the second part of this film.